All right, all my guitar addicts, you've been waiting and we're finally gonna give it to you. We're gonna see how this pedal sounds. So guys, I made you wait for it quite a bit. I tried it out by myself and I really enjoyed it. So I'm finally gonna give you guys a quick listen and tell you what this pedal sounds like. Um, I like it, spoiler alert, I like it. It's an OCD clone. I think they did a really good job. I don't particularly have an OCD to judge it against, but just judging what this pedal is by itself, I really enjoy it. It's a transparent overdrive, so it doesn't have that kind of mid boost that like a Tube Screamer would have. It does have the high power, low power switch which is pretty popular. A lot of the Chinese pedals are coming out as OCD clones and they're coming with that switch. So that's kind of cool. It gives you a lot more options on the pedal. This pedal doesn't have that bass boost that some of the other Chinese pedals have. So in that sense, it's really got that going for it. And it cleans up real nice. When you roll the volume back on the guitar, you can still get nice, crunchy, slightly crunchy, slightly overdriven tones on it. So I gotta say, this is a pretty good pedal, especially for the price, right? I wanna say this is like a $20 pedal, maybe a little more, maybe a little less. This one is the one they said is handmade. So when we cracked it open, we saw that it was handmade-ish, right? It's full-size components that are soldered to a board and the wires, there's actually wires in there that are soldered versus when we took apart another pedal, you could see that it was the parts that have to be applied mechanically to a board and then the boards were already soldered to like the jacks and it, it all came complete in like one piece so it could be assembled pretty quickly this was not that this looks like somebody's hands were in it maybe a couple people's hands were in it uh, making it so they could call it handmade so they're trying to give you the boutique boutique -y kind of vibe uh, for 20 bucks so uh, you know there's a conversation as to whether there's room in the market for them I just gotta say that because I do love my American pedal makers and my European pedal makers and those people who are doing handmade pedals for a couple hundred dollars, you know? We really wanna keep those guys alive because those are the guys who in innovate. And then China comes along and gives you that innovation at a reasonable price. So I just hope there's room in the market for everybody because we do love like the GHSs, the Wamplers, the Mythos, all those great guys, Caitlin Bread. We really need those guys in the market, so. Hopefully there's room for everybody. Hopefully you guys dig this pedal and um, yeah, let's give it a shot. Oh, I'm gonna give you a quick close up. Yeah, that's a nice looking pedal. All right, let's get to the guitar playing. All right guys. All right, so I know nobody likes to uh, just sit around and hear me doodle. So we're just gonna give you quick little snippets of what the pedal can do. Hopefully you dig it. If you don't, um, I'm okay with that too. I, I like the pedal, I think, for the money. It's not a bad value. I mean, there's a lot of uh, OCD clone options out there, but for 20 bucks, I think I'm gonna go through most of them and, <laughs> and see what they sound like. So, pedal is off. That's just the normal, clean guitar sound. That's the front pickup, neck pickup. Seems like that one distorts the clean channel just a little bit already. Okay. So we're gonna try the low, right? It's got the switch, the um, LP, HP. So we're gonna try the low power. I'm gonna click it on. We'll try, um, we'll try just a little bit of gain. I'm not gonna, adjust it too much, but I'm gonna to try to give you guys a picture of uh, what the pedal looks like so I can put it up in the corner somewhere here for you. So. So I find with the high power, it's louder. It 
seems about unity gain. So I think that's a pretty usable, nice sound. So that's a pretty cool sound. Uh, just real quick, let me see how it sounds with the... Oh, so that's the coil split. Remember I was telling you it cleans up real nice too, so... It's kind of nice. So that's a decent single coil sound, right? Okay, so let's give that a little more balls, right? Nice. Well, let's put the coil split though, so. <laughs> Pretty decent sounding pedal. So let me give you a quick picture of what that is. So you can see where the dial is. So we're about uh, midway, midway on the uh, drive there. All right, so one more of these, we'll go three quarter drive. guys I couldn't resist that's a really nice sound that's a neck pickup sound it's really warm but fuzzy yeah I like that oof that was sweet all right might get a little bright on the bridge pick That's a good sound.
Wow, guys, I've been using the high, uh, high power uh, side of this, but this is sweet. <laughs> So, I want to make sure I take a picture of that for you. So, yeah. Wow. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. This is one of the better um, $20 pedals. Wow. Okay. So, uh, we're going to go to the high power. We're going to bring everything down a little bit. I find that um, it is louder. unity gain take a quick picture of it if I can have something in the corner to show you guys that's a cool sound See how um oh drop my pick. Got another one. Let's see how single coils break up. Not bad. Yeah, it's it's a it's a really nice sound. I, I gotta say, it feels much more expensive. It feels like it's got lots of color and options, and it 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 brings out playing in you, which is really what you want gear to do, right? You want it to inspire you. So um, I'm gonna say, yeah, for twenty bucks, it's a reasonable inspiration. So let's try it with a little more gain here. Let's take a quick picture. Snappity snap. All right, so. All right, so I'm doodling. So let's give you three quarters of drive. So this is probably close to 
maximum balls. Nice man, it's nice. Um, wow, well, that's even on the the uh, bridge pickup, which is usually a little harsh, but it's a good sound. Fuzzy. Remember I told you it cleans up nice too, right? So I'm gonna roll it back. It's nice, right? It's almost like a really nice overdriven amp where you have a lot of control here at the volume. All right, guys, so that's it. I am um, really, really impressed with this pedal, especially for what I paid for it. Um, I have this Nux Ultimate Overdrive. I'm gonna see if the camera will zoom in on it for you. And I actually got this one, come on camera. I actually got this one uh, before then, maybe if I cover my face, there we go. I actually got this one before the other one but this one had that issue where it was a little bassy. So I'm gonna try that one also for you guys, but I gotta say head to head, cause I think they're both supposed to be kind of like OCD-ish clones. I think that one's trying to be something a little different. But this one um, is trying to be that OCD clone. Um, and um, yeah, having not having paid $150 for an OCD to have one to judge it against, Maybe it's not fair, maybe the OCD is just uh, euphoric, but I think for what you're getting in this pedal, it's a good deal. I don't particularly have any money in the company and they don't send these to me for free at all. I just like to try stuff out and then um, I like to make a video and let you guys see it. So this is just my opinion, it's unbiased, it hasn't been paid for, but um, yeah, I mean for 20 bucks, I'm really happy with it. All right guys, so I'm gonna stop talking about that pedal so if you liked what's going on now, go ahead and look down there, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, because we do these all the time and hopefully you're enjoying it and you want to be part of the Addicted 2, the number two guitar community. We're on all platforms, so you can check us out on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook. Uh, we're even on Twitch. We do long form conversations on Twitch, guys. So thanks for watching. This has been awesome. Like I said before, I got tons of stuff over there to show you. So we've got new content, man probably for the rest of the year. So hope you guys are digging it. Tell a friend. Don't forget to subscribe, like, check us out. And uh, yeah, dudes, thanks for watching. Peace.